It's been a long week and I gotta say I think it's time we get away To our favorite fishing hole The rent was due and the paycheck's blown That's okay, there's a spot I know That won't cost us a dime All you need is your fishing pole A little faith and a whole lot of soul And you'll have you time Welcome to Rod's Welcome Real Rod. Good Time. This is a show that takes you on backyard adventures on a budget. Give it up for your host, Mr. A.C. Clark. A.C. Clark. Welcome to Rod's and Real Good Times. I am your host, A.C. Carver. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this Father's Day weekend. Now here in just a few minutes, we're going to be visiting with some very special young friends of mine. Probably the youngest friends I have in the whole world. And they're going to tell you exactly what Father's Day means to them. Now, while we may not have time to put together a full episode of fishing and hiking and doing all that fun stuff that we normally do, we can at least dedicate this show to all the wonderful fathers out there. Let me tell you something. If you're a father, the work that you do does not go unnoticed. And if you're an unfit father, well... Shame on you. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some rods and real good times. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. What's your name? Joseph. All right, Joseph. I know I, I knew your name. I just wanted you to tell everybody else what your name was. But could you tell me what Father's Day means to you? My dad is awesome. Oh, yeah? Why is your daddy awesome? He works. That's right, and he takes good care of you, doesn't he? All right. Anything else you'd like to say to your dad? No. Just tell him. And tell him Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And there's Shecky right there. Hi, Shecky. Shecky. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm not gonna point the camera that way. Okay. Ready? Action. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Tell us your name. Joshua. All right. Now you're Josh Milliron or Joshua Milliron Jr. Mm -hmm. You're heir to the throne, right? <laughs> so tell me something, buddy. What what does Father's Day mean to you? Well, it's, to me, it feels like something that I can like, do stuff for my dad and stuff. Very cool. Well, do you have anything you want to say to your dad? Well, I thank him for doing everything he can. Amen. Very good. Well, again, folks, these are these are some of my youngest friends in in, in the whole world, and I, and I love them like they're my own kids. Okay, so who wants to go next? I already went. You already went. All right. Y'all can go together. Okay. <laughs> Now this is the oldest girl right here, and 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 the aspiring veterinarian or English teacher or something. <laughs> What's your name? Cheyenne Miller. All right, and so tell us what Father's Day means to you, Cheyenne. Father's Day means to me is like honoring your father for doing everything he does for you. And do you have anything you'd like to say to Josh? Thank you for being so inspiring and hardworking, and I love you. That's great. Amen to that. Amen. That was, that was terrific. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. All right. Come on. The biggest Duck Dynasty fan in, in the whole world right here. Your name is? <laughs> All right. And what does Father's Day mean to you, Kayla? It means to be awesome. It means to be nice. And sweet, and do the best you can to be good to your siblings, and be <laughs> nice to your father, and give him presents. And do you have anything you'd like to say to Josh? Happy Father's Day. All right. <laughs> and love you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wonderful. You did wonderful. And last, but certainly not least, what are you, the youngest or the middle? Middle. Middle. Okay. So tell us your name. My name is Logan. All right. That's my little fishing buddy right here. Okay. It's all you, but 
<laughs> All right. So what does Father's Day mean to you, Lucas? Well, that's true, but it should be more about your dad. <laughs> He's not a brat. Just the first thing that comes into your head, buddy. That's that's what's all. What is your heart telling you to say? Say something. Okay, you guys, you guys did great. Hey, that was terrific. Thank you so much, buddy. So here's a Father's Day poem that I wrote for my grandfather, Jerry Carver, but it's dedicated to all the fathers out there. There was this little boy without a father, who probably didn't have a chance, to learn to do things like a man and take a prideful stance. While there was this man, well he was the father of four girls, that took this little boy and gave to him the world. Well that little boy is me now, 33 years old. And though my life's not perfect, I resemble him I'm told. For every fish I catch, or every sail I close, to every seed that sprouts, it's because of him I know. He taught me how to work real hard, and that it always pays, to make a sacrifice while stepping out in faith. So to all you fathers out there, whether you're blood related to your children or not, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for everything that you do for your kids and for taking that stand in a child's life. God bless you, and Happy Father's Day.